what's going on guys welcome back to the watch and cut channel so today we're gonna talk about something I got in the mail now I have not really been buying knives this year I think uh, I've made this is my third purchase all year long with knives I'm actually saving up um, for a pretty big purchase recently that I agreed to pick up so we'll keep you posted on that but this did come up and this was one of those knives I honestly was not going to pass up on. It delayed me a little bit but this one is a knife that I've been hunting for years except not quite, not exactly but um, the whole gist of it is that I've always wanted a custom Davlis from Lespect. Um, and the simple truth is they're really really hard to get I would, don't want to get into like the whole thing but yeah they're they're difficult to acquire so anyways as you can see CKF in their usual impressive fashion has taken on the tough challenge of replicating one of the knife industry's most favorite French custom knife maker Mr. Dave Lespect. Um, oh, that's kind of cool. Some flat titanium accent in case you want to take these off. So look in here. We have a bunch of extra bearings. We got some extra hardware here. Um, this is the little care package. We got a solid titanium pocket clip. Very nice. It's got like a little hue to it. And same thing with these titanium inserts for the bolsters. That's kind of cool, actually. So you can kind of change the whole look of the thing. So anyways, I've always wanted a custom one of these. And since Custom Knife Factory has decided to fulfill some of our, you know, dreams in some respects of, get it, respects, respects. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, of actually making something that is acquirable in budget, because these customs are very expensive, but while still providing some custom high-end like materials, like this one has superconductor, mm. uh, which is nobium, and then they also mm. have... Uh, zirconium titanium for the pocket clip you basically get the same kind of fancy materials you'd find on a full custom you also get the hand rub satin finish on a lot of their dives this one's more of a bead blast but um, yeah you get usually the fine blade uh, machine work or polish uh, work uh, that you would get on a lot of customs um, although it is not a Lespec Davlis, um, it is a CKF production version, if you will, which um, utilizes some very fancy materials and high-end hand finishing is the best way. So I guess these would be kind of mid-techs, you know, um, limited production runs. This is the infamous crystal titanium that everybody keeps talking about it almost has the sheen like it is stepped like carbon fiber um, but it's not it's actually titanium and it's smooth to the touch you can kind of see on on the layer it's not rough it's just a nice round kind of texture but but it's got this really kind of cool glowing sheen to it when the light hits it um, looks like little black diamonds which I think is really neat um, I love the shaping on the 3d milled clip and then kind of the spooned uh, backspacer here on the rear um, the blade shape is just killer I absolutely love this blade shape I love this bolster design it's got a bit of a it's not a thick knife by any means but it's got some heft to it because it's all titanium really it's all heavy heavier type materials um, but you just got a really nice placement uh, between you the blade and everything it's just a really nice knife as far as the way it looks and the way that 
it functions, which is super cool. So, um, yeah, I finally got myself a Lespect, except, you know, it's, you know, I, I, I can't say that this is a watered-down version. As a matter of fact, I saw a YouTuber do a video between his five customs and where this one kind of stand up. And honestly, next to all of them, this kind of stood out pretty nicely as well. It stacked up really well. Um, you know, the backspacer is one of those things that's replicated from the original custom. Um, the way that it's bolstered and everything and the blade shape is replicated really well as well These are all front flippers. Uh, so if you're not a front flipper person, you know, this is not going to be for you But if you like front flippers um, This one works pretty damn well um, The reviewer that had the customs actually said that he likes the detent on this one it's a bit stiffer than the custom one which I find this one to be tuned pretty nicely. Um, you can kind of see where the blade just, it's got this really ridiculous smooth action that you get from a lot of CKF knives, but um, it's got a substantial uh, detent to overcome to uh, deploy it. So pretty cool, very, very cool knife. I'm really excited to add this to the collection, um, but the next one will be pretty damn cool as well. Um, I'm finally doing that thing where I'm finally going to sack up and buy uh, something on my grail list. Um, so keep posted for that. That probably won't be till late this year or early next year. Um, but yeah, I'm working on something cool. Um, but for now, I got this CKF uh, that I wanted to show you guys and uh, hope you like it. We'll do a full review on this guy at some point. And for now, this is the Watch and Cut channel. Out.